Hello friends, welcome back to ROM Cart. Today in this video, I am going to review the best custom ROM for Realme RM685 devices. And I hope you already guessed it, this is the Lineage OS version 21 for Realme RM685 devices and currently I am reviewing the 29th February build. So as always, this is the best custom ROM till now for Realme RM685 devices. So I will discuss the reasons in few moments why I call this the best custom ROM for Realme RM685 devices. So this is the build I am reviewing currently. It is the 29th February build. Changelog is February Android security batch. Play integrity out of the box until you do root. Then we have the lineage OS source upstream and you can see the full change log right here. And yes, the kernel is also the latest and the bugs are as always the native video calling and voice over Wi-Fi. And we have both vanilla and GFs build. Currently I am reviewing the GFs build because I could not find the appropriate GFs for the vanilla build for Android 14. So let's get started. So as always, let's start from the settings. So in the about phone. This is the UI, there is no animation, just like older builds. And yes, this is Android 14 based, you can see. The easter egg is working fine and the lineage version is lineage 21, unofficial GFs variant. And the Android security update is of 5 February 2024. The kernel used in this ROM is the lineage kernel 4.14.334. So in the post it is mentioned that the kernel is upstream to 4.14.336. But here I can see it's 334. I don't know why. However, let's review it. So this is the build number. And I am basically using Realme 6i Indian variant. Now in system, we get some customizations like the system profiles, the gesture bar, the status bar. Now in status bar, we get the network traffic indicator, which is working fine. Here you can see, and you can also customize the position. Then we have the show seconds, MPM style, battery take style. Now in gestures, we have the touch screen gestures, quickly open camera and navigation modes. Then we have the keyboard, the backup restore. And in backup restore, you have the seed vault backup. Here you can choose the backup provider to Google account or seed vault backup. Then we have the developer options, which is by default turned off. I manually turned it on. Now in wallpaper and style, we get the typical Android 14 interface. Here we get the clock color and size in the lock screen. And this is how it looks. But when there's notification, it will look like this. And you can customize the color and size of it. Then we have different styles and you can also customize the accent. Then we have the more lock screen options and in more lock screen options we have the shortcuts the left shortcut the right shortcut then we have the ambient display and the ambient display is working you can see when i pick up the phone the screen turns on and this is basically working like the settings in the display which is pick up to wake so this is working fine now we have the dynamic clock and add text to lock screen now in home screen we get the similar ui and in icon we get a bunch of icons and in fonts we get only four font styles then in shape we get these then we have the themed icons and here's when i go to home settings we have the lineage launcher i guess you can see then we have the hidden and protected apps so this is basically the app lock of this rom so we have the app lock in this rom which is an useful option then we have the lock layout then add apps to home screen for new apps then we have the use themed icons in app drawer so what this does is basically changes the theme of the app icon or you can say the icon style so it basically changes the icon style also in the app drawer then we have the show icon levels in the drawer if you turn it off the apps in the app drawer will look like this there will be no levels and it gives an immersive experience if you like it then if i turn it back on it will look normal and in widgets we get the typical widgets panel and in the home screen there is nothing to talk about now talking about the quick settings panel this is the quick setting panel and if i show you the tiles you can see we have the camera and mic access the screen recording option the quick share that i manually added then we have the extra dim the night light the color inversion data saver font size heads up and the system profiles and we have some more which comes from the apps i have installed they are the night shift, the performance profile, etc. Then script 1, script 2 and script 3 that you can use in Franco kernel manager. 
and if you don't know what is franco kernel manager i have made a video on that you can check that out now talking about some system applications we get the lineage camera which is working perfectly fine you can see all the sensors are working and the rom is very fast you can see when i change the cameras there is no delay and even when i installed any application from the play store or any other source the application just installed in seconds the installing speed is really good i am really impressed with the speed now this is it for the overview and now let's talk about the benchmark scores that i got in this rom which is an essential point so i have tested the antutu and in antutu i got 3,71,422 and this is the score in detail you can see and i got this score without using any performance mods any performance module custom kernel etc this is all stock performance and in geekbench 6 let me show you the scores so again without any performance mods or any custom kernel etc I got 676 in single core and in multi core we get 1733 and talking about the GPU score in Vulkan I got 1805 and in OpenCL we got 1838 so these scores are pretty good considering there was no performance mods were used and I also tested the CPU throttling test let me show you the screenshot so with the throttling test I am not actually satisfied you can see there is performance dips in the graph and the maximum score was 159,000 and the minimum was 114,000 but the graph is not stable and you can fix this easily by using performance script so that is not a big deal but the benchmark scores that we get in this rom is really good and basically this rom is for battery backup now i actually forgot to talk about the battery backup in battery backup we get the battery usage and talking about the battery backup i am using this rom for last two days that was a light usage and still you can see there is 51 percent battery remaining although i am using it from yesterday and the screen on time from then is one hour 20 minutes however the battery backup that you will get with this rom is around eight to nine hours because this is the best battery backup rom for our realme rm 675 devices now we have the battery saver then we have the battery charging control if you turn on the charging control you get three options automatic schedule custom schedule and limit charging so in limit charging you can set a certain percentage when the charging will stop so this is it and in sound and vibration we don't get the increasing ring volume because this is lineage os full stock aosp now i would like to talk about the safety net because i have rooted this rom after rooting with magisk 27 i have Flash two modules for fixing the safety net so i basically flashed the safety net module 2.4 by kdragon but that was not flashed because i was already using the play integrity fix module and after using both these modules i did not get the cts profile let me show you with the yasnac yes so you can see the basic integrity is passed but the cts profile is failed so if you want to root this rom keep in mind that the CTS profile will still be failed however I am going to make a video on how to fix the safety net on rooted devices so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel okay so I think this is it for the overview now without further delay let's get to the gaming test so guys I have unlocked 90 fps in BGMI using this module called unlocker so let's start BGMI and this time I am not using any performance script I am using the stock kernel with all stock performance and there is no realme setting also so all you will see is stock and I will also test the performance with the performance script so please wait for that so you can see it's running on 90 fps but the fps meter shows 60 fps however at first let's start a classic match so guys you can see we are getting around 80 fps currently it is on 77 so let's see how much fps we get in the drop
so guys you can see we are getting around 70 fps currently and i don't know why but the cape mark is not showing accurate fps you need to see the frame rate in the game space fps meter or you can say the usp fps meter so it's easily giving around 50 fps without using mods and now you can see there is frame drop sometimes around 40 but the overall gameplay is really smooth as you can see and let me remind you that i am not using any kind of performance script right now this is all stock performance So you can see we get around 50 fps without any performance script and let's try driving a car And you can see the frame rate is quite good without using any script. So let's quit this match and test the TDM. And guys some of you were requesting me to play 8v8 arena but I don't have 8v8 arena unlocked in my account. You can see. So let's play a normal team death match. And guys currently the temperature is pretty high it's around 42 degree and you can see we are getting around 60 fps So guys if you don't use any performance modules or script you will easily get around 60 fps as you can see in this gameplay and the frame rate sometimes fluctuate around 50 fps it's like 45 to 50 sometimes But overall the gameplay is not that laggy, it's playable actually, if you see the gameplay, you will notice that the frame rate is quite stable. So this is the performance we get in BGMI at high temperature. So you can see here we are at 44 degree but still we are getting around 50 fps even without any modules or script and the active drain is around 23 percent so the battery draining will be high and with 20 percent active drain we will get around 
फोर आवर्स ऑफ प्ले टाइम सो का इज टू इंस्टॉल द लीनियज ओ एस यू हैव टू रिबूट इन टू रिकवरी एंड मेक श्योर दैट द डाटा एंड कैसे इज ऑन ई एक्सटी फोर देन सिंपली गो टू फॉर्मेट डाटा एंड टाइप ई एस देन यू कैन सिंपली रिबूट एंड द रॉम विल बूट नॉर्मली इफ यू आर गेटिंग एरर देन यू कैन रिबूट टू बूट लोडर एंड टाइप कॉमांड फास्ट बूट वाइप सो दिस इज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल मेक्स यूर टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन बाय